What's going on, y'all? Today we got more funniest Michael Jordan stories told by NBA legends. Let's get into it. See what about. Oh, baby! He left jock scraps all over the hardwood down here. <laughs> oh, but how he? I think that should be more funny. Michael Jordan stories told by NBA legend. NBA legends. He read that play. <laughs> Who knows, though? <laughs> and then I'm not the, the grammar ball. police or the punctuation police or the English police. Hey guys, this is Dominic Wilkins. Hey, this is Sean Kemp. This is Gary Payton. Hey, this is Paul Gasol. NBA fan, what's up? This is Vince Carter here. Hey, what's up? This is Matt Barnes. If you're an old school NBA fan like I am, make sure you check out the basketball time machine with my man Sean Davis. Hey guys, what's good? Welcome back to the Basketball Time Machine. My name is Sean David. Thanks for tuning in. In today's episode, I want to take a look at more funny Michael Jordan stories told by NBA legends. But before we dive into that, let's take a quick look at the video of today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by Established Tiles. Now some of you so I have to free for owners. Okay, in love between gift. TM to get your gifts now and help support the channel. Now the first player story that I want to take a look at is from Rip Hamilton who obviously played with Michael Jordan and who played for the Detroit Pistons and was an NBA champion. Let's take a look. Well, like I tell people, Michael was fun. He had a unique personality. <laughs> but then there was also another side where it was the talking <laughs> trash Michael Jordan. And at times, me and a couple of the young guys would come up to him and say, hey, Mike, why don't you think about putting us in the brain Jordan collection? Right. And he'd look at me and say, hey, Rip, my, sneaker for, my sneakers for all stars. <laughs> and at that time, I'm like, wow, like, <laughs> like, really? And then my other young fella, I don't want to say his name, and he would say, hey, Mike, what about me? Put you, put, put me in your sneaker. And then he'll say, your game is not to the liking for my sneaker. Not good enough. <laughs> not good enough for your my sneaker. Your game don't fit my sneakers. So, I mean, but that was the whole big talking Yo. trash with Mike. Another next story that I want to take a look at is from Jalen Rose, who always has those funny stories. <laughs> and this one is actually one of my favorite stories of all time. Well, <laughs> if I dunked on Michael Jeffrey Jordan, I would tell the story to every buddy that I came across and you do the same thing let's watch story time with Jalen Rose now it's a distinct difference <laughs> playing against Michael Jordan as he was leading the Bulls versus Michael Jordan he's playing for the Wizards I'm a Detroit native a Piston fan a bad boys fan so when we were having our rivalries with the Bulls, the Pistons walked off the floor without shaking the Bulls' hands. So I was like, nah, yeah, this little, the I love funny. that. As a Detroiter, we had to be bad. We had to create rivals. We had to do something different, play with the big boys. So while I've always respected the greatness of Michael Jordan, I actually rooted against the Bulls because I was rooting for the Pistons. So now it's 1998, NBA Finals. Chicago Bulls at Utah Jazz. Yeah, Jordan hits the shot and he's by Russell. He's retired. Cut to four years later. Jordan decides he wants to play again for the Wizards. So I remember playing against the Sometimes I Dream That He Is Me, Mike in Chicago. And then I'm playing against the guy for Washington. I'm like, he became more of the I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. It wasn't every time. So I'm like, I can actually make some moves against this guy that he can't stop. So when we go to Washington, I'm in his face. So I'm taking him on the pole, jump hooking over him, scoring buckets. I had like 30 that game. I did a play and I actually dunked, not on him, but around him. And I was hanging on the rim and I started talking trash. I came down off the rim. I said something that you can't be repeated on our airways. It was very volatile, it was very rude and disrespectful. And I got ejected. Had 30 points late in the third quarter against Michael Jordan and the Wizards, I get ejected on national TV. That could have been the game of my life. When you have 30 points in the third quarter against Michael Jordan, what are you saying to yourself? I'm about to get 50. That's what I was saying. And I couldn't jump over a phone book as a player. So if I get a dunk and Michael Jordan's in the vicinity, I got pumped up and I got too pumped. 
to where I got kicked out of the game. And that was stupid. Jordan returned back to the game in 95. Did y'all want to play the Bulls in the playoffs when he returned? Man, you know, the, the biggest thing was when M first came back, and I was like, he's back. Like, I wanted to play against MJ, and then he retired before I came into the league. Mm -hmm. Then when I came into the league, he comes back. So my first mindset is, damn, MJ's back. And then I snapped out of that shit. <laughs> I snapped out of that shit real quick. Like, all right, you got to go in his ass. You got to right. get his respect. Because this was my favorite player, along with Matt. Matthew was number one. But MJ, who, who didn't like MJ? So when he came back and we played them for the first time, I got the best of him and Pip that game. I think I had 36. And I was so, Ooh. I didn't even sleep that night because I was so hyped and ready to play that game. And we won, but I think I only pissed him off. I pissed him off. <laughs> I know that for sure. We, uh, the story I always tell is we used to come out for warm-ups. Uh, you go out in the NBA with about 20 on the clock before a pregame. And so you go out there, you know, 20 on the clock, and MJ would always come out with, like, 14 on the clock or 13 on the clock. So one day I go up to him, and I was like, M, why don't you run out where we run out? Like, why do you always – because, like, we run out, and the crowd would, like, stand up and cheer, and they kind of – you'd kind of hear him saying, like, where's Michael? Where's Michael? And then when he ran out with, like, you know, it's like another standing ovation, the whole crowd would go crazy. And I was like, M, why don't you run out with us, man? He goes – they're here for me. They're not here for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I begged them to go out with us in Philadelphia. We go out. We go in the back way. We smoke right. cigars in the joint. And the owner of the, store, of the club comes and go, Michael Jordan in my club? Cut the music off and turn the lights on. He wanted everybody to see Michael Jordan was in his <laughs> club. I'm telling you, he changes the way people move. I would get my 20s, 24, 25, 29 yeah. on Mike. Mike yeah. don't get his 30, 32, 35. You make him mad at 40. He never got 40 on me, but he did get 35. Let's say. I mean, yeah. that's money. You know, I try to keep him down to 25, 26, his average. Anything over that? Okay. You know, right? So what happened was, we're in Chicago, and I had played against Mike three times head up. So KG had never seen me play against Mike. Yeah. So we're in the game, oh, and yeah, I got I about 24 before. going into the fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mike got about 18, 19. Okay. So I'm quiet. I always stay quiet when I play my. I didn't talk too much. I yeah. mean, if he talked to me, I was going to talk back, but he never talked crazy to me. We just played. But I never talked crazy to him at all, right? Yeah, yeah. You knew better. So <laughs> we come out of the fourth quarter. KG like, man, keep going at his ass. Serve him. He can't guard you. <laughs> he can't da 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 with you. He can't mess with you. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I was quiet. I'm looking at him like, Chill. Mike was literally right there. And hey, man, KG is hype. Like and KG he's super hype. Yes. You know, loud. I'm a super hype, so we vibe, right? But I'm like, chill. He's like, man, he looked at me like, man, he can't guard you. Keep going at him. I'm like, man, chill. He's like, what? I was like, he's standing right here, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, and KG was like, I don't care. Keep going at him. <laughs> wow, strong for this dude, man. Wow. Too strong for him. I was like, wow. So Mike looked at me, looked at KG, looked at me, looked at KG. I was like, Mike, he don't know the rules of the game, man. He's just a young puppy. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Mike was like, okay, you talking? You know what I mean? I said, man, he don't know the rules of the game. Yeah. Mike looked at him again like, okay. Looked at me like, okay. I said, what you looking at me like that for, right? <laughs> Came into the, went to the fourth quarter, man. That man got about eight, 17 quick. Mm. Mad, looking at KG, looking at me, looking at KG. Motivated he, 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 man. He, I said, look, I got to guard that man. Not you. Mm. You know what I mean? Mind you, KG was having a great game on Scotty. We both, I mean, KG had about 30. I had about 28. Yeah. I mean, we, yeah, we was getting it. It's amazing. But KG didn't understand that we don't talk to Mike like that. No, we don't <laughs> gas him. We don't, we don't, don't, we don't, we don't talk. No, At least no. I guard that man. Right. Go talk to Scotty, whoever all you want. Well, you said the rules. He didn't know the rules. He know the rules. There's certain rules out there. We don't like, pump him up, it's, dog. You, know, you can get 30 and be cool. Okay, Mike got 30. But you don't want him to be mad and go get 50. That'll happen. 60. You know, I really, really enjoy looking for those funny Michael Jordan stories. Jordan stories in general, Sheesh. obviously, because I'm a huge fan. But those funny stories, I'm always very happy when I find old ones and new ones. So maybe it will I ain't gonna lie. He's a few, few of these stories I didn't even hear, man. I ain't gonna lie. Usually, I, I hear most of them. And there's probably like one or two of them I own. Haven't heard most of these. I haven't heard though. Only ones I only one I actually heard of is the um uh, KG one. Word. 
But if you guys enjoyed these type of reactions, man, let me know any other uh, funny, funny uh, old school basketball stories you want me to react to, man. Put it in the uh, comments down below. Also, if you enjoyed, please share the video. It'll help your boy out. Subscribe if you're new. Um, turn on post notifications. Links in the description. Click on the last reaction as well. You know, Michael Jordan versus the Bucks. Gummy. I'm telling you. You want to see that one. And I'm out of here.